Whoa, did you see that volcano erupt or that bridge being built? The earth is always changing, sometimes in ways that help us and sometimes in ways that can be dangerous. But did you know that scientists and engineers use amazing technology to predict and limit these changes? Let's explore how. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey Joyce, my dad, Travis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we'll explore how technology helps predict and limits earth changes. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain how technology helps predict and limit earth's changes. First, Let's talk about what we mean by constructive and destructive processes. Constructive processes build up Earth's surface, like how volcanoes create new land or how rivers deposit sediment to form deltas. Destructive processes break down Earth's surface, like earthquakes, landslides, or hurricanes washing away coastlines. Wouldn't it be great if we could know ahead of time when a big storm or an earthquake might happen? Well, we can, thanks to technology. Let's take a look at how we use technology to predict natural events. Number one, satellites and weather radars. These track storms, hurricanes, and tornadoes before they hit, so people can prepare and stay safe. Number two, seismographs. These special machines detect vibrations on the ground, helping scientists predict earthquakes. Number three, drones and sensors. Scientists use drones and special sensors to monitor volcanoes for signs of an eruption, like heat and gas levels. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what are constructive processes? What is an example of constructive processes? Number two, what are destructive processes? What is an example of destructive processes? And number three, how do we use technology to predict natural events? Pause the video and take five minutes to write your answers. Let's go. Let's move on to how we use technology to limit the impact of Earth's changes. Predicting disasters is only half the battle. Scientists and engineers also decide on ways to limit their impact. One of these ways is dams and levees. These structures are built to control rivers and prevent flooding in the cities and farms. Second, seawalls and barriers. Engineers build these along coastlines to stop waves from washing away beaches and homes. Third, earthquake resistant buildings. Special flexible foundations and shock absorbing materials are built to help buildings survive earthquakes. These materials are largely used to construct buildings in Japan, which is surrounded by tectonic plates and is frequently hit with earthquakes and tsunamis. Fourth, controlled burns. Firefighters actually set small controlled fires in forests to prevent bigger, more dangerous wildfires. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, name three ways scientists and engineers design structures to limit the impact of destructive forces. Pause the video and take three minutes to write your answers. Let's get it. So the next time you see a storm warning on TV or drive over a strong bridge, remember, it's all thanks to science and technology. By predicting and limiting the impact of Earth's constructive and destructive processes, we help protect people, homes, and nature. And that's our video for today. Now it's such an to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how technology helps predict and limits Earth changes by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are high for proficiency. Record your results on your proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Peace and have a positive, productive day.
gotta get to the other side of the freeway. 